Hey y'all, and welcome to the Sprinkle Factory YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join our Sprinkle family. Uh, today we're going to be making grilled lobster and truffle fries. Let's get right into it. So today I have this whole lobster, and what I've done is I've made sure that it was thoroughly cleaned on the inside, and I just split it in half. And we're going to keep the seasoning super, super simple on these, so we're going to do a light coating of the Justice Sprinkle. That's the only seasoning that you're going to need in this entire recipe. What I've also done is uh, cut a little piece of lemon. We're going to squeeze some le lemon over this as well as baste it in butter so it does not stick to the grill. And after we do that, we're going to add two more things, which is garlic and parsley. So again, we're just going to keep this super simple, super clean. And I think that is the best way to do lobster because it totally deserves it. Now, while we are um, buttering up our lobster and seasoning it, getting it nice and flavorful, um, we do want to have our grill pan heating on the stove so it's nice and hot. Or if you're using an outside grill, the same goes for that. Um, I do prefer minced garlic. You guys try to chop your garlic as small as possible. Uh, so this way it gets in all the nooks and crannies. And once you put this on the grill, all the flavors will marry. So as you see, the grill is really, really hot, you guys, and it is smoking. So we're going to go ahead and put the lobster on there. It's going to take a little bit to cook, you guys, but it's totally worth it. Um, as you can see, um, I've listed on the screen, grill it about 12 to 14 minutes, and this is for a two-pound lobster. Um, it shouldn't take that long, but the color that you're looking for is a really, really bright red shell, and the juices should run clear and slightly coagulate. Um, so as you guys can see, I added a little more lemon there just at the end. Pull your lobster off and allow it to rest for a couple seconds. Here I have a couple ingredients for the truffle fries. We're going to take a quick shortcut, and we're going to use the store-bought fries totally 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 fine you guys because we're going to dress these up and we're going to make them real fancy um, of course fry your french fries according to the package directions here i have about two teaspoons of um, minced garlic we're going to add those to the fries while they're hot that's very important we're also going to add about a half a cup of shredded parmesan cheese again while it's hot so it can um, adhere to the french fries and we are going to also add some just a sprinkle of course um this sprinkle excuse me this is just a sprinkle all-purpose seasoning can be found on our website and the description is in the link down below now of course the star player of the french fries the truffle oil it's very very strong in flavor but very decadent so you only need about two teaspoons of this and um, everything's going to be nice and delicious so we're going to toss these guys around Get all the flavors to marry, um, everybody in there joining the party, and these are totally delicious. We're going to put some parsley, dress it up for our Instagram photo. And just like that, the truffle fries are done. I am totally addicted to these, so you're going to see me in the video, steal a couple, um, but don't pay attention to that. <laughs> um, just like that, you guys have made grilled lobster and truffle fries. Um, make sure you guys comment. Let me know what other recipes you want to see on this channel. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. As my grandma would say, finger licking time. I'll see y'all next time.